I'm going to talk you through how to take a compass bearing. Before we do that, there's several different parts to the compass. The first is the base plate, which is this long rectangular plate. The second is the direction of travel arrow, which is this little black arrow at the top of the base plate, direction of travel arrow. The third is the compass wheel here, which rotates. The fourth are my compass lines, which are black and red lines, and they run down along the bottom of my compass wheel. And the fifth is my magnetic needle, which is the red and white needle you can see moving inside the compass. To take the bearing, you put the length of your compass between your two points, and my two points you can see are these two, two red X's. There are two spot heights, I'm standing on one and I want to get to the other. So I put the length of my compass between the two points and I look at my direction of travel arrow. The moment my direction of travel arrow is pointing this way, which means that I am traveling from this point to this point. Now that's actually not the case. I'm standing here and I want to get to this point, which means I'm traveling that way. So I have to turn my compass around. Holding the base plate firmly with one hand, I'm going to rotate my compass wheel. You rotate your compass wheel so that the red lines in the wheel point to north on the map. North on the map is the top of the map as you read the writing. So let's get these red compass lines pointing to north on the map. There we go. Now, if you look through the compass wheel, you'll see blue grid lines, which are blue lines that run from top to bottom, from north to south, all the way across your map. You want your black and red compass lines to be 100% parallel with your blue grid lines, which means I need to do a little adjustment here. Perfect. Last thing is you double check that the length of your compass is still running between your two points. Sometimes as you swivel the compass wheel you can twist the compass off track. So yeah, I'm still between my two points and I'm double checking that my compass lines are still parallel with my blue north-south grid lines. Yeah, that's fine. So the compass comes off the map. Now to actually follow the bearing you make sure you don't have anything magnetic like a phone or a camera in your chest pocket. You hold the bottom of the compass base plate against your chest. You put your feet side by side, close together. And if you look at the compass wheel, you have a magnetic needle which is moving and you also have a red arrow painted on the compass wheel. Those two red things need to be on top of each other. Red to red is, is the way I remember that. So putting the base plate against my chest, feet close together, I'm going to shuffle my body around until I have red on red, until I have my magnetic needle on top of my red arrow. When they're both on top of each other, if I lift up my head, look directly ahead, that's where I'm going. So I'm going to pick a spot just in front of me, maybe a rock, a piece of grass. I'm going to put the compass away and I'm going to walk to that spot. And that's how you follow your compass bearing. When you reach the spot, you take out the compass again, against your chest again, and you pick your second spot and your third spot and so on.